So in this video, I want to be showing you guys the top 10 solo glitches in GTA 5 Online. Before we get into the video, shout out to these 10 legends right here on the screen for subscribing to the channel. Shout out to all of you guys and big shout out to all my channel members right here on the screen. And quickly before we get into the video, let's get in a quick word from today's sponsor. And if you guys are wondering, all the timestamps will be down in the description of the video. So you guys can go to any glitch you want in today's video. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Before we continue on with the video, if you don't want to spend hours grinding out these glitches, check out Aurora Resupply. They provide multiple GTA services such as modded accounts, as well as money and rank boost for all platforms. They are reliable and deliver fast. The link will be in the pinned comment and description below. Also be sure to use code JAR for 10% off your orders. Let's get it. So for the first clothing glitch in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the flight tube on any outfit. So you want to make your way to any clothing store and go to the flight suit section at the counter and simply equip any flight suit and you guys want to make your way over to the uh, shoe store. If you know what I'm saying, you know, you're going to make your way over to the shoe store and don't worry bro, you don't actually have to go all the way in bro, you just got to go to the shoe store. And if you're wondering about the intro of the video, you probably heard the voice and was like, yo, what happened to this guy's voice, bro? Like, what happened to my guy's voice? I was just trolling with that. I want to see if any of you's noticed it. So if you did notice the intro, how my voice was a bit deeper, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys got tripped out by that, like if that confused you. Let me know in the chat right now in the comments. But yeah, let's continue with the glitch. So yeah, make your way right over here to the shoe store and you want to walk inside, just inside of the door. And you guys want to go ahead and select the outfit from your interaction menu that you want the flight tube on. So as you guys can see, open your interaction menu, go to appearance, go to your outfit and select the one that you want the flight tube to spawn on. Once you've done this, just walk out of the clothing store and you'll see it automatically spawns on your outfit just like this. And boom, you guys now have the flight tube. Obviously on this outfit, it looks a bit dumb, but you can obviously do it however you want and it will go onto pretty much all of your outfits. But I'll show you guys a super easy solo way to get invisible arms and it really only takes about five seconds to do. So make your way to a clothing store and you wanna to go to the outfit section and you guys wanna go down to Diamond Casino Heist and go to Refuse Collectors. Now it'll be the ones with the trash vest on it. As you guys can see right here, Refuse Collectors. Equip the first one and I'm pretty sure it is called the Pickup. So go ahead and equip Refuse Collectors right here and click this one, the Pickup. Now, if you don't have it unlocked, you might have to do the Diamond Casino setups and stuff like that to get it. But once you have equipped this outfit, you want to go to the shirt section, go to Overcoat Blazers, and then select No Top. So go to Overcoat Blazers, just like this, and then go ahead and select No Top, and boom. As you guys can see, we have got invisible arms, and these are completely permanent as well, so they're not just going to disappear after like 10 seconds or something. They actually do stay forever. And you, the cool thing about it, is you can actually change you know whatever to the outfit pretty much you can chuck on like body armor or a helmet pretty much uh you know like new gloves i'm pretty sure you can change i don't know if you can change the pants possibly you might be able to uh it would make sense if you would be able to uh i haven't actually tried it but you guys can try that for yourself and now this next glitch i'm going to show you guys how to get this cool looking chrome color like chrome uh chrome crew color color yeah that's a bit of a tongue twister i'll show you guys how to get it though anyway so what you guys want to do is you want to make your way over to the los santos customs or anywhere really it doesn't really matter any custom shop you guys can upgrade your car and you guys simply want to go ahead and select chrome for your primary and secondary and once you guys have done that go ahead and select crew color and it's really as simple as that there's not too much more to it but if you guys select chrome and then select your crew color you can get this awesome looking crew chrome color now one thing you guys can do before doing this is select brush steel for both your primary and secondary then put on the chrome and then put on the crew color and then you can chuck on a per lesson as well to just add a little bit of you know different color to it but really it's as simple as that and as you guys can see i got this cool looking you know gr cool looking green chrome color and yeah it depends on what your crew color is you guys can make it super look like you know you can look at it. i don't even know what i'm saying let me show you guys a very simple but effective one and this is how you guys can instantly stop your vehicle also known as you know the most expensive brakes in the game by a lot of other youtubers and stuff like that that's how you guys can get those very expensive brakes so all you guys need to do is when you're driving along you want to hold down on the d-pad and select any of these story mode characters and as soon as you guys get that alert what it does is it basically instantly stops your vehicle so just like this as you can see in the gameplay just hover over one of them and then let go of the d-pad 
and it will put you on the alert and just back out and it will instantly stop your vehicle and this is very helpful if you're in a drag race and you need, you need to stop before you crash into you know the fences at the airport or something like that you guys can easily just do this without actually having to break all right so for this next glitch i'm going to show you guys one i don't even know if you can call it a glitch it's more of like a uh, trick or something like that i guess you could say you want to get your oppressor mark too and simply go up to any building to where you guys are going straight up in the air then pull back on your joystick and hold r1 to uh you know fly basically and you guys can see you can fly your oppressor mark 2 upside down now if you guys don't know about this and let's say you haven't done it before it'll probably take you guys quite a while to get used to the handling because obviously everything is opposite so to go up you kind of have to like you know i don't know how to explain it but you know it's a little bit awkward to do but it's very effective when you guys can get this down because uh, you guys can actually go a lot faster and a cool thing with this is you guys can actually go to max height super quick with this as you guys can see i've already traveled quite far across the map but yeah it's a pretty fun glitch and it might take you a little while to get used to but uh yeah it's pretty cool all right so for this next glitch i'm going to show you guys a little glitch spot inside of this bridge right here on the map sort of near the ls river so you'll see this bridge with the two you know overly shaped circle whatever you call them i don't know what you call those things the guards on the side of the bridge you will see this bridge right here you want to get a deluxo and you want to fly into this gap right here so as you can see this little small gap right here boom you'll be able to fly straight through it didn't work for me on the first try i don't know what was going on there but uh when when you guys get in the gap just press x to go into driving mode instead of the hover mode and it should be sweet so three two one and boom press x and as you can see we're literally driving around inside of the bridge like in the bridge i'm not even trolling not on the bridge in the bridge we're literally in the bridge right now but um yeah it's a pretty fun little glitch spot and the cool thing about it is you guys can actually shoot from out of here and stuff like that i uh kind of blew myself up there not gonna lie but yeah you guys can miss around all right so this. for this next glitch now it's not what you're thinking i know where i am on the map right now yeah i'm at the shoe store i'm not gonna lie i was gonna show you guys a free way to get shoes if you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna show you guys a god mode glitch right here so all you need to do is stand in this little area right here and basically when you are standing in this sort of painting in the wall i don't know what you will explain it this little mural thing stand right in here other players won't actually be able to shoot you and uh, obviously i can't demonstrate it because there's no one else in my lobby right now you're gonna have to trust me on this one try it for yourself with one of your friends or something or let's say you know someone's chasing you down and as long as they don't use a rocket launcher they will be able to or they won't be able to shoot you when you're standing right here so for this next glitch i'm going to show you guys how to get probably the most rare joggers in the game i don't even know if you can call them joggers let me know in the comments i guess you could call them white joggers from wish or temu or uh, well, i don't even know anything like that aliexpress but you guys will see if you want to go to the clothing store go to the uh what's it called heist coveralls and equip any of these ones with the gas mask on them now go over to the shoes section go to boots and equip any other pair of boots that it allows you to equip so like one of these ones right here as you can see it doesn't erase the outfit so equip one of those ones and now once you guys have got the one, uh, boots on that you want you just want to make your way over to the mask store so once you guys are here at the mask store what you simply want to do is go ahead and equip the go to heads uh, sorry go to mask go to head scarves and once you guys are here you want to equip the first one and it'll be a blue one and it should be called jolly roger something jolly roger go ahead and equip that and once you do that you can back out and you will see that you still have the pants on and you guys can simply go ahead and change anything to the outfit and keep these fake joggers and i don't know if you guys want these fake joggers they do look pretty cool i'm not gonna lie you know you don't really see too many people with them because obviously everyone's trying to get the real ones but these ones they're kind of like the clickbait joggers i'm not gonna lie a lot of people do be clickbaiting with these but yeah here's how you can get it the fake joggers man start off with this method you will need to be wearing the outfit that you guys want the invisible torso on so i'm going to be getting it on these pink joggers right here so as you guys can see now you guys want to make your way to any clothing store and you guys want to go to the shirt section and go to utility vest and go to number 43 and equip this one right here the peach plate carrier once you guys have equipped this you want to save this outfit into any slot it doesn't have to be slot 1 or slot 20 it can be any slot it really does not matter and once you guys have saved that into slot 1 or slot 20 you guys simply want to go down to the highest cover rules and equip any of these four right here so any of the four that have the gas mask just equip one of those once you've done this you guys want to make your way to the telescopes and you guys can go to your apartment or you could go to the beach or anything like that 
I would recommend you go to the beach and once you guys are here, you simply want to run past the telescope just like this and when you're running past it, you want to spam right on your d-pad. So spam right on the d-pad and your character should get pulled back and then just get stopped like this kind of and you just want to go ahead and open your interaction menu, go to appearance, go to style and you want to go ahead and select your outfit that we just saved. So the outfit, let's say for me it was the pink jogger outfit with the peach plate carrier, equip that and then walk away from the telescope and you guys will see that the gas mask does spawn onto your outfit and this is perfect. Now from here you guys want to make your way over to this ammunition store right here and once you guys are here what you guys simply want to do is you guys want to press your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, play job, rockstar creator, go to missions and start up the first one called a titan of a job. Alright so once you guys load into the mission you need to listen very carefully here you can load in by yourself by the way and you guys simply want to start up the mission by yourself. You want to go to this counter right here and select the first and then the second earpiece then walk up to the e cola machine and you guys want to go ahead and press right d-pad to get a drink now if you don't have one dollar then man i don't know what's going on with your bank account in gta but you got to get a dollar somehow so make sure you do have some money in your uh, cash and then once you guys have done this you want to quickly save the outfit back into the same slot while the hoodie is down and now you guys want to go over to the shoes and equip any pair of shoes and you will see an invisible torso does show up but it's not done yet so you want to go over to the shirts right over here to the left side go to utility vest and equip any utility vest and then deselect it now boom you guys now have the invisible torso save this outfit back into that same slot and now this is where you guys need to listen carefully because obviously yes we have the invisible torso but as you guys might know if you've already done this glitch before you if you load back into online you will actually not have it permanent and the shirt will just keep showing up so right now if you guys want you could do anything you want to this actual uh, outfit when you are on the mission since it is going to be permanent so you could put on a helmet you could put on all that sort of stuff put on like a mask and a helmet together if you want to but I'm just going to straight up just quit the mission because I'm not really trying to do all that. Anyways, once you guys do now load back into online, you will see that the outfit is not permanent. And this is where you guys need to watch the video. And make sure you don't just quick, uh, click off the video before that. I mean, obviously, if you did, you wouldn't be able to hear what I'm saying now. But make sure you do click, uh, not click off the video because obviously I'm going to show you guys how to make it permanent because right now it is not permanent. So as you guys can see, the outfit is not permanent right now and the black shirt does show up every couple seconds but i'm gonna show you guys how to fix this right now so in order to fix this you guys will need a kusaka and you guys want to go ahead and call it out so call out your submarine and once you guys have called it out you want to go to it and there should be a scuba rack inside of your submarine and yeah obviously it's inside of every submarine so if you somehow don't have a scuba rack inside of your submarine bro you must have got your submarine from Timu or something bro because I don't know bro but you guys just want to go ahead and go to your submarine now as you can see I'm going inside right now and you guys will now be inside of your submarine so from here what you guys simply want to do is walk up to the scuba rack and there are a few inside your submarine you should just look for the little scuba mask icon on your thing and bro is it just me or is the submarine so confusing to get around but as you guys can see i just found it right here now you want to register as a ceo and for this glitch it basically makes it permanent for the session that you guys are in so you want you might have to do this every time you join a new session but it honestly probably is worth it because it does look pretty sick so you want to go to the scuba so, uh, scuba thing right here and I somehow got kicked from the uh, the people kicked me from the lobby because I killed them so yeah I had to start a new lobby but I'm gonna show you guys right here so as you guys can see you guys simply want to walk up to this scuba rack right here and you guys want to go ahead and spread that as a CEO now you guys want to go ahead and equip the invisible outfit and quickly press right on the d-pad to equip the scuba suit now go to your CEO and go to CEO style and scroll once to the right and then back out and then press right d-pad to disable the scuba suit and you guys will see the invisible torso shows back up and it is permanent this time and that is how you guys get the invisible permanent to uh, torso completely solo gda5 online as you can see right here so three two one it take me a few tries because i was a bit of an npc and i was doing it wrong but yeah as you can see we now have the invisible torso and that's really all you guys need to do if you want me to explain it one more time i'm gonna explain it so basically you walk up to the scuba rack you register as a ceo 
and then you guys simply want to equip the outfit with the invisible torso quickly and then press right on the d-pad as quick as you can to equip the scuba suit and once you do this you want to go to your ceo style and go once to the right and then back out no don't go to the left again just go once to the right and then back out and then from here you guys will see you guys can uh, de-equip the scuba suit outfit and you will now have the invisible torso. So for this next glitch, I'm gonna show you guys the telescope glitch. This one is a very helpful one if you wanna make cool looking outfits. So let's say, for example, I wanna put this helmet on my outfit right now onto one of my other outfits. You wanna run past the telescope and spam right D-pad at the same time. Now open your interaction menu and select that other outfit that you wanna put this helmet on or mask or whatever it is. And now walk away from the telescope and three, two, one, boom. As you can see, the Space Ranger helmet from that other outfit has just transferred over and you can do this with so many other things. So let's say for another example, I want to have, you know, let's say I have this red outfit or sorry, out, uh, orange outfit on right now. Let's say I want to put this orange helmet onto one of my other outfits. Obviously, you can't do it normally. So do the same thing, run past the telescope, spam right on the D-pad. Your character should get stopped. Now select that other outfit and walk away and boom. As you can see, the orange outfit or the orange helmet, sorry, is now on our blue outfit. And it's as simple as that, man. You can do this with so many other things. Yo, shout out to you, legends, if you watch to the very end, man. Shout out to you guys. Comment, subscribe if you watch to the very end. I want to see who watched to the end. And uh, yeah, shout out to you guys, bro.